We're celebrating tonight God's amazing love to us, His amazing covenant commitment, and His amazing gift of covenant that we celebrate in marriage. And if you need support for your marriage, we want to support your marriage. Uh, good evening, everybody. Again, my name is Tom, my wife, Amy. <clears throat> Uh, we actually are celebrating our 30-year anniversary next week. That's a, <laughs> thank you, thank you. And it's been a piece of cake, i got to tell you, hasn't it been? <laughs> no, to be honest with you guys, <laughs> to be honest, though, uh, it's really a miracle from God that we're standing before you guys this morning. Uh, our marriage has suffered a lot through the last, you know, I don't know how many years, but, but God is good and God is faithful. Uh, locking Arms has been very supportive of myself and also our marriage, and uh, just one of those things that, um, you know, the enemy tries to attack marriages, but um, uh, the Word tells us um, in Proverbs 18.22 that a man who finds a wife finds what is good and also receives favor from the Lord. So tonight, we're here to celebrate what is good, and that's the blessings that we have from our wives. So I think we should just, like, grab our wives real quick, give her a quick kiss, and then we'll pray, okay? <laughs> Come on, everybody. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. But let's, let's, let's pray. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, Lord and God, we thank you and praise you for this evening. We thank you for the opportunity that we have here to celebrate marriages. We thank you, Father, for all the work that's gone into tonight. We, we pray in advance for the, for the band. We thank you for the food, Father, but also, Lord, for this fellowship and this time, Lord. We just ask that you would bless these marriages for the years that are accumulated here, Father, in marriage, uh, we ask, Lord, that you would help us to um, understand your goodness and that we could reflect that in our marriages and that we can have marriages that would make you proud and that would show favor. And we pray, Lord, that you would help us to um, be an influence to those that are struggling, Father, and help us, Lord, to do your will and to complete your will in our lives. So we thank you again for this time. We ask your blessing upon the food and this fellowship. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And his wife, Mary Ann, are first going to um, lead us in a prayer for our marriages. You have the cards there on your table. If you could get those blue cards and pink cards out. I'm going to pray. Lord, thank you for my husband. I ask your will for him in these things according to your word. Fill my husband with love for you, that he would love you with all of his heart and all of his soul and all of his mind. Cause him to delight in your word and open his eyes that he may behold wondrous things out of your law. Give him understanding. Compel him to pray continually so he'll live and walk by your spirit. Empower him to run with endurance the race that is set before him and to focus on pleasing you. Equip my husband with strength and wisdom to lead, that he would be strong and very courageous, that he may be successful wherever he goes. Supply him the time and ability to manage his own household well. Guide him in using wisely all the resources you've given us, keeping an eternal perspective about possessions. May he share your hatred of evil and experience your protection. Enable him to be quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to anger. Help him to trust you with all his heart and not to lean on his own understanding. Make his paths straight. Flood him with peace and faith. Increase his desire to teach and model godliness as a father that the next generation might know and not forget the works of God. 
because you oppose the proud and give grace to the humble, instill a genuine sense of humility in my husband's heart. Keep him sexually pure and honorable. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Give him friendships with godly men, that they would stir up one another to love and good works. And let your favor rest upon him and establish the work of his hands. And this is the confidence that we have toward him, that if we ask anything according to his will, that he hears us. Okay, men, let's do the same. Hug your wife and pray this with me. Lord, thank you for my wife. I ask your will for her in these things, according to your word. Fill my life with love for you, my wife, that she would love you with all her heart and with all her soul and with all her mind. Cause her to delight in your word and obey her and open her eyes that she may behold wondrous things out of your law. Give her understanding. Compel her to pray continually so that she will live and walk by your spirit. Empower her to run with endurance the race that is set before her and to focus on pleasing you. Give her wisdom, strength, and perseverance for the good works which you prepared beforehand for her to do according to the unique ways you've designed her. Continue to make her a wife of noble character, compassion, wisdom, diligence, and skill to care for our home and family. Replace any insecurity she may have with the ability to trust you and to rest in your approval. Let her beauty be in the hidden person of her heart with the imperishable beauty of a gentle and quiet, rested spirit. Flood her with peace and faith. Increase her desire to teach and model godliness as a mother that the next generation might know the works of our God. Be her shield in mind, heart, and body. Guard her from the evil one. Keep her sexually pure and honorable. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Give her friendships with godly women, that they would stir up one another to love and good works. Let your favor rest upon her and establish the work of her hands. And this is the confidence that we have toward him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Father, we thank you that we hear you hear us and that you're answering these prayers even now as we ask them in the name of Jesus. Amen. You may be seated.